Hi folks and welcome to an episode of Clinton's Production Toolshed where I will discuss and review gear and equipment along with tools and techniques covering everything from film, cameras and video to music production and sound acquisition. Now today I'd like to share my thoughts on a portable protective and storage solution for your equipment. Now here is a HPRC 5400W hard case made by an Italian uh, base company which I'll look at in a minute. It's been several months now uh, where I've done some research in an attempt to find something that would transport um, my motion control dolly system. I use the Kessler Crane Pocket Dolly and I love the robust building quality of their products, um, but their stuff doesn't come cheap and even though it's manufactured to withstand the rigors of the outdoors, finding something to protect and transport my equipment uh, is very important. Now this case stores my Kessler Crane standard length uh, pocket dolly along with a basic controller system, uh, a pair of all-terrain outrigger feet, a battery and a Manfrotto ball mounting head and various other accessories as well. So it does store quite a lot of equipment. Now when it comes to hard cases, I've always used the Pelican brand. Now the truth is I own several of them so naturally when the time came uh, for another buy, I was kind of leaning towards a Pelican case, uh, but it wasn't until I came across the HPRC line that kind of made me change my mind. Honestly speaking, I don't think HPRC plays second fiddle to Pelican or any other major brands out there. Uh, judging from what I've seen so far, the craftsmanship on this is rather impressive. HPRC have, you know, all the hallmarks of a professional product, uh, obviously, you know, a tough resin shell. Uh, automatic pressure adjustment valves here, you know, the watertight o-ring seals, um, it's waterproof, it's crush proof, it's weatherproof. I mean, look, the list goes on and I'm not about to sell you all the marketing hype. You know, with all this banter about ethics statements, which is, I think, a, a wonderful policy adopted nowadays by many professionals, um, I will say that this case was not sent to me by HBRC. I bought this case based on its own merit. So saying all that, there are points of differences in this case which I love very much compared to some of the other cases that I own. Firstly, the resin material exterior shell on this feels a lot more durable. And uh, the ribbing on this, uh, I think, seems to reinforce that strength even more. A couple other things I really like, I prefer the uh, feel of the ergonomic rubber handles on these cases. And their two-phase latch systems provides a secure locking and unlocking mechanism, which is very easy to use compared to some of the other cases where you have to use quite a lot of elbow grease just to kind of unlatch the case itself. This particular case utilizes cube foam, but I like the fact that they have uh, these optional zip-up bags that double up as also insert padded dividers, which is really cool. Now, cases need to serve the main purpose of protecting your gear, but sometimes, you know, a little touch of good aesthetics doesn't hurt either. That's where I really dig the red and black color schemes on these HBRCs. Now, just a couple other things. Um, one, I would assume that this case is manufactured for rifles given the size and the length. So with the total length of my pocket dolly being at 39.5 inches and the internal length of the HPRC 5400 measuring at 45 inches, the fit is perfect. Now some of you will worry about the bulk and the size of the case but it's really no larger than the size of a standard electric guitar hard case. Now the caster type wheels enables easy transport and handling and more importantly it's an ATA 300 category approved shipping case. Now the holes next to the latches are large enough to accommodate anything from TSA approved locks to larger heavy duty padlocks. Now my one and only gripe about this, about this case is the weight. You know, empty, it weighs in at about 14 kilograms, but considering the fact that it's built like a tank, it's not really a deal breaker for me. Now, I'm going to play the devil's advocate here and admit that I generally prefer to support small and boutique like companies that provide an alternative product. Why? Well, I'm of the opinion that these companies tend to focus more on a benchmark in comparison to leading manufacturers and what they may lack in volume sales or marketing or product visibility, more emphasis is placed on the service and refining the product that they already have. Now, I'm, I'm no way suggesting that HPRCs are, are, are small players here. On the contrary, I think judging by the abuse that I put this case through, I suspect that HPRC are gonna be a force to be reckoned with. Now, don't take my word for it. You, if you haven't tried one, I would suggest you go for it. As far as I'm concerned, I think I've found the perfect solution for storing all my Kessler Crane products.